I guess when you first start writing, you find an artist and you're like, I want to be like them. And it's very hard for you to say, I don't want to be like anybody and I want to write differently. Like when I first started writing, it was a lot of poetry and stuff and just getting words down like to like outlet myself therapeutically. But then like as I got more into music and making songs and listening to artists like Drake, Kanye West, G-Unit, Kevin Gates, Hobson, they were like my biggest start influences. There came a point where I was like, I have to stop like trying to copy and be unique. I don't got time for this bullshit, loose lips. I ain't never playing by your rules, kid. Ay. Back then, didn't have detraction. The now they wanna cut. Ain't that a fraction? Yeah, I'm a monster with a flow that's a crackin'. Don't focus on numbers, I ain't even here for hacking. The Australian scene for rap, I feel like it's completely different. We had like a bit of a buzz, I guess, for like freestyle rap back then. That was a big thing. Um, but also I feel like back then it was very dry. Like for me personally, I copped a lot of hate trying to sound like American hip hop and putting on that type of like voice when really it was just like what I studied and what I grew up on and what I learned from. And that's the emotion that I, that I got when I was behind like the microphone. I mean, a lot of things have changed and I feel like uh, we've picked up a lot in hip hop for Australia but I'm noticing it's just like people are accepting the international sound that we, that we bring with um, our music and the songs that we're putting out, which is, which is a great thing because that's what I worked hard on. Okay, gravity glad and got me, ay, okay. Floating through, but I still paved my way. Stargaze tripping, but I'm, ay, okay. Gravity glad and lie. It took like 10 years, but I think when I released Speed Racer in 2018, which was the song before Astro, that's when I started really developing like my own unique sound and people were telling me like they can't pin it down to like who I'm like. Like you get fragrances of who I'm like, you might hear a bit of Kevin Gates quickly, but it's still me, it's still unique. Miss me racer riding out, no shortcuts, no time for that. Miss me racer riding out to the wheels fall off, I'm driving that. Miss me racer riding out. I felt like I was always just like talking about nonsense until Speed Racer. I just used my brain a bit more and actually sat down and really thought about like a message and like a storyline and what I wanted to say. And I didn't just be like, oh, I hear a beat, let's write lyrics. You know what I mean? Which is a very casual and general trap you can be in for music. So like for me, I, I worked on like having a storyline and like a timeline to it as well. And I, I think I started thinking from a listener's point of view, like if they hear this, what are they going to think? What image would, would they get in their mind when they hear this certain part or this certain line, etc. So I just started thinking a lot more and becoming a bit more creative. My driving overdrive, this is overtime. Let me finish mine. You don't see the signs, but every line I see is the finish line. I've been working real damn hard, but work only gets you so damn far. See my mind set is on my progress. Every foot I take is just another step. It was literally to the point where I changed my name or like said, okay, if I'm going to be really serious, I want to have like a really good stage name that represents myself and I want music that represents me. And that was like the era of like Masked Wolf and then Speed Racer coming out. Red light, green light, red light, green light. I think storytelling is like the best part. Like to me, that is like the epitome of what hip hop should be. Something where you can listen to a song and be completely drawn in by a music video and feel like there's nothing else around you for that three minutes or whatever it may be. And you're in like a completely different world. So I feel like storylines always trump anything else in hip hop. Falling out in a drought, no flow rain was I'm pouring down. See that pain was all around. See my mode was kind of lounge. Didn't know which which way to turn. Flow was cool, but I still felt burned. Energy up, you can feel my surge. I'ma kill everything like this purge. Let's just get this straight for a second. I'ma work even if I don't get paid for progression. I think that's one of my favorite lines because it's just so simple yet so, so me, like so my story because no matter like my financial status or no matter the work I put in, if I don't get paid for it for music, I always believe that the return on investment would come in the future at some point. Put that shit in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. I'm not trying to say go spend all your money and uh, you'll get it back in the future. But uh, I guess like if you're your investment, both like finance, but also like mental as well, I would say that 
don't be afraid to like over invest in yourself because like you and who you are is like the most important thing you are your own investment so my advice would be to like never doubt yourself what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much put that shit in slow motion yeah i feel like an astronaut in the ocean i always said to myself even when i had like a thousand dollars in my bank three thousand dollars in my bank 10, 20, I went back down to like $500 and I went back down into debt. I always said to myself, keep spending your money on your music because you're gonna make more back in the future. You're a good investment. You better know it's a must, I'ma never go bust. So when they look at me, they like, what the fuck? Man, this Aussie boy coming in harder than hard. I did my thing, raising bars and I'm touching the stars. You better know that it's ill, yeah, fuck what you feel. You better know I'm the illest mass wolf. Woo. One take. Off the top, no pre written told about it yesterday, <laughs> Mars Wolf, you better like There was like a point where I was like, I need a really good engineer because I wasn't happy with the engineering I was getting as well. And when I found my good engineer that I loved, things started clicking a bit more. I guess it's kind of like when you just find that like best friend, you just don't have to say things. You just know you're on the same page. That's what it's kind of like with me and my mixing engineer, my audio engineer. And that's the same with production as well. I mean, once that happened, everything just became not easy, but it became a bit more fluent in the creative process. Run like a baby. They always said I was average. Wounds caused bleeding pain, but I didn't know no bandage. You can do something like a kick, like a... Like, do something different. It's a cool tempo. You were trying to do something fast at pace, bro. Like... I'm gonna show you how fast I can slap you at this. <laughs> he just doesn't want to let me produce for, like, half an hour and just try some new shit. He just wants to be like everyone else out there, so... Well, we can be like everyone else out there. So. Sounds great. <laughs> Tip top. Sometimes I hate it because I feel like I've done like a really cool verse and they're like, eh, it's okay. And I'm like, what? Yo, I, have, I feel like it's fire. But I've come to the conclusion that sometimes you can't be so hands on if you're not making the beat. Like if I hear a beat and I'm like, yo, this is fire. I'll just record to it. But my producer, Tyron Happy, basically me and him love working by ourselves. We never really do things together. It's very weird. It's like, I'll have an idea, I'll record it, I'll send it to him. And then while I'm sleeping, he'll be working on the beat. And then when I wake up, he'll be asleep. And it just keeps revolving like that. If you want a producer that you can work with between the hours of 1 p.m. and maybe 5 p.m. and that's it, that's your guy. He uh, must sleep at least 16 hours a day <laughs> to be functional. If I was in the studio and we were making a beat together from scratch, I, I'd be a bit more hands-on and be like, yeah, I want to sound like this. But generally it's like, I do the, the storyline, the lyrics, the concept, and I let him do his thing. Way back, don't say that. I ain't never do my thing, I ain't lay back. I was trying to get it cool with it way back, way back then, like we in the Maybach. Way back, back to the business when I'm back on the beat. <laughs> I just avoid like the numbers and the statistics, to be honest. I think they're the traps. I think like you get caught in, oh, I'm at this in the country or I'm at this number in the world. And you just keep looking at stuff like that. And like, to me, it's more about the music that I'm making and that I'm happy with it. And everyone's like, yeah, this is dope rather than where it sits on, you know, a chart. I think if you like, you lose yourself in the numbers, then you lose yourself in the creativity. I think it's important, like you don't lose track, you don't lose yourself in the one song that puts you on the map, but the song that comes after that and the song that comes after that and so on and so forth. I guess when it's time to work, it's time to work. And when it's time to play, it's time to work. You know what I mean? Nobody gonna face me, no 